We could do Corpse Taker and really try to go for it. Because the thing with Warlocks is you could take a bunch of crappy stuff and it'll all be okay. And life skill is just like generally better. Tomb Lurker draws cards, which I don't care about. I'll take a Corpse Taker. Let's have some fun with Corpse Taker. Synergy card wise, it's like not the worst synergy card. Rockpool Hunter or a Zubat. I'll take a Rockpool Hunter. Dark Shire Librarian or a Bone Drake? Still has to be a Bone Drake. Okay, remind me to take Taunts, Divine Shield, Lifesteal, and, uh, and Wind Fury. Remind me to take those. None of those are available, but we will take another Bone Drake. Okay, we have a Dragon deck. We officially have a Dragon deck. Uh, South Sea Deckhand? We have Dragon decks. We don't need to hero power to get stuff. That's fine. People are looking at Gurubashi. Why? Because of the Defile? The huge Defile synergies? Is that why we're voting for Gurubashi? I kind of want a small card. That's paid out. Thanks, brand new. Gurubashi, Defile. All right, fine. We're a little high. That's the only thing I'm worried about. Cabal Chemist over Ancient Brewmaster. Yeah. Good. Mad Bomber, always good. Giant Wasp, good card. Dreadscale Knight, though, has lifesteal. But I'm not going to pass up a Wasp for it when I don't have three drops, unfortunately. Uh, Shadow Flame, very good. We'll take a Shadow Flame. I need small cards. I'm not getting the small cards I need. Uh, feeding time is initiative. Good. Uh, we'll take another dragon. I'm okay with that. Tar Lurker. Or a Senjin. We have two fives already. I'm going to take a Senjin. Malkazar's Imp. Mortal Coil. Direwolf Alpha. I guess Mortal Coil is the way to go. Even though we are kind of zooish. Uh, Shadow Bolt, very good. Don't forget the Corpse Taker. Yep, we'll have some taunts. Taunts are not what I'm worried about. It's Lifesteal and Divine Shield. Especially Divine Shield. Like, we need a lot of Divine Shield. It's only minions, right? Yeah, so this Drain Soul doesn't count. We'll take another Mortal Coil. Uh, Blood Imp? Third Mortal Coil? I don't know if we need a third mortal coil. Yeah, we need a third mortal coil. Let's go. Summoning portal. That won us a 12 win back uh, a little bit back, but I still don't think I could take a summoning portal over a bot creeper. That's that's just wrong. Uh, good, another Yeti. Uh, it's not Skelomancer. Gadget's and Socialite. I'll take it. Hey! I actually don't think it's Yasharaj. Because my minions all kind of suck, so it's Anexia. We have a lot of dragons. Can we please get some dragon synergies? We have literally four dragons. Two of which summon more dragons. Pompous Thespian or Death Speaker? We have no threes. As much as I want a Pompous Thespian, we have to take a Death Speaker. Like, we literally have one three drop right now. Uh, Flame Imp. Okay, that's good. Another Flame Imp. I'll take it. Uh, Soul Fire. Fine. Better than a Volatile Elemental. Uh, oh, we have two Flame Imps. So it's normally pretty hard to get demons around here, but we do have some. Violet Illusionist makes you immune, though. Which means I can actually play my Flame Imps. And I don't have threes. I think I have to take the Violet Illusionist. This is definitely Violet Illusionist. Okay, so now we have enough threes. Ah, see, we could have definitely had enough threes. Should have taken the four. Uh, I don't have any elementals, so it's a big time racketeer. Oh, Grotesque Dragonhawk, though, with the Wind Fury. I can't. I can't take the Wind Fury here. Uh, Stegodons, I kind of need four drops. I'm actually not going to take a Seda Threshadon. I need four drops for the Stegodon. Uh, or the Daring Reporter, actually. 
Yeah, I prefer a Dara Reporter to a Stegodon. Do I have enough taunts? One, two. Does this deck only have two taunts? I don't have any way to like like softening off doesn't really do anything to uh, for me. Except for flame imps, I gotta take a Darren reporter. Uh, and a ruby and profit, yes, yeah, fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's fine. I can take in the ruby and profit. Void terror. This is my last pick. I don't really have a choice. It's got to be a void terror. All right. So this is a really bad deck. Versus was the drain life written the old way shall bring victory. Uh, i think it is but even if it wasn't the only way to trigger our uh, corpse taker is is through fancy like minions uh, i just hope corpse taker never comes out that's where we're at right now uh so far it's fine gadgets and social light is fine This is the old 3 police, there's no bets for this one. Um, I don't know, I don't have the GOAT. Murps has to do it, so if he's not here, then no bets. Dance with me. Do what you will, I'll have a 5-5. Five five. Oh, nice, I heal him, he heals me. How nice are we? He can't do much. We Darren Reporter next. It's playtime. Cool. Wait, what? I'm warning you. I'm unstable. Oh, I see how it is. Damn it! That was like the one thing not to discard, even though it sucks. Wow. So that was it, huh? Like, that was him, and after that, he's like, I'm out. Get a grower on the board. Best discard. Interesting. I wonder. Mortal coil. Tazingo. Yes. That kind of worked. Dragonfire ink. That's fine. We'll use the hero power. It's not the end of the world if he dragon fires. Alright. It's fine too. It's not the end of the world if he does this either. Drink the power. We have a fell fire potion. That's five damage of reach. Oh my god, how many volatile elementals does this guy have? Okay, I'm in it for the long haul too. Looks good to me. This 
I just need this uh, fell fire potion to to trigger the right way, like for the lethal. One damage off. I sense your struggle. Could have mortal coiled and hoped to have gotten something. But if I got a bone drake or something else, I would have been pretty screwed. So this seems okay. Like I just need like Fellfire Potion to deal the damage, right? I need to deal one more damage. Unless he has another uh like unless he has another potion. I think we're good. Wait, what? That's who he's choosing to kill? Oh, I see what's happening. Oh, wait, what? Everything up, still having a Nexia, still have a Mortal Claw in my hand. Oh, I should play more Warlock class cards, that's right. And I should have played the Anexia, because I need to play cards over like eight mana or something like that. Gul'dan versus Valira. Watch your back. Your soul shall be mine. Yes. Your soul is mine. I'm not going for the flame imp. I have a two, I have a three, I ain't greedy. Watch, flame imp comes next. Play a one one. I see you. Close enough. All right, please don't lose us the game now. You have one job, bomber. This is the game right here. This is classic Hearthstone. Classic Hearthstone Arena, win or lose. And we lose. GG. Uh oh. Alright. Nah, uh, maybe there's hope for us after all. Void Terror Soul Fire. That seems fine. Great, way to discard this engine. As long as I keep the Death Speaker, I think I'm fine, but it's kind of annoying. Huh? What? Oh. Interesting. This only works on the Hi. I just gained six health. I'm not ready. Yes. Do that. I sense your strength. I could have traded fully and then played a bone drake and then he won't be able to free kill my 3-2 with the 1-1, but I really just want like nothing to go to my face at this point. So they many. Are to my command. Fine. 
I'll take it. So he must have something really big coming up. What have you got? I have 8 damage. I should be able to get through anything. Yep, I can definitely get through that. Preemptively hit the 2-4. No, he does not preemptively hit the 2-4. That's a mistake. Alright. Okay. Not bad. Although he has less health than me now. Oh, I have dragons. I have a bone drake, I have a fairy dragon, I have an anexia. Do not even front. I have dragons. Feeding time plus mortal coil is 4 damage, so I still have 8 damage on the board, which should still be okay. Good feeding time target. That's fine. With the rock pool hunter, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Huh? Dre. Can't quite play you. This seems pretty good. Okay. I'm okay with that. I'm pretty okay with this too. Betrayal's nice. Incredible. Tapping. I have my Bone Drake. I have my Anexia. He has a Bone Drake. That's not bad. Okay. As long as he doesn't get the death wing, we're well good. Played. I get GG. Two zip. Going. I'm gonna get some food. What should I order, guys? It's been a long day. I'm about to do work, but I think I'm gonna play this game and then food will come and I will eat food. While rewatching episode of Bo uh, episodes of BoJack, if you guys don't know, BoJack Horseman season four is out. It's so freaking good. It's better than first and third season, and not as good as second season. But nothing's gonna be as good as second season. I am your nightmare. Uh oh, two, three, mortal coil. I'm cool with that. Oh God says love season four. Yeah, I like how it's been like, I don't know, three days and people have already seen season four. Which which is true because that's what you should do. Okay, so now we can Mad Bomber with Immortal Coil. <laughs> it's time for a little blow. I really hope we can now Mad Bomber with Immortal Coil and not with a Soul Fire. Wanna blow something up? <laughs> Right. 
Very annoyed. I could have coined out the Violet Illusionist, but then I have no follow-up to that. Because then the Mad Bomber would just kill everything. Hmm. Could Violet Illusionist. I'll save it, though. Like, he needs to kill it on 3-2. Otherwise, I'll just kill his 4-drop. He doesn't have much of a choice. Oh, that's definitely not the right choice. Actually, no, that's probably the same. I take that back. Those are equally good choices. Double trade with a Cabal Chemist. Drink the power. Sucks. This only works on the simple mind. All right. If I didn't do that, I actually would have been able to get through this. Sadly, because this violet illusionist is really useful because I have two flame imps. So if I just hold it long enough, I'm gonna have a flame imp to play. The sun has set for me. That's annoying. That's really annoying. I don't have enough mana. I'm gonna play a Beedre. Almost out of time. Go ahead. How long can Good. this go on? How long can this go on? Good. Dragon fire to clear. We still have a shadow flame. Eventually, this Nerubian with the shadow flame is going to be pretty sick. But right now, we could just shadow flame with three drop if he's going to do that. Oh no, he's going to put it all on one. I see. I see what's happening. Let's see if this works. Because I assume he has a hard removal and he's going to use it on the 6 5. And then I play the Bog Creeper and I'm good. Plus, this also softens things up enough where if I get the right card. I wonder. Actually, no, there's no card that'll make this fit. I don't have enough. Ma well, no, I could Void Terror something. And then. Really? Oh. Wait, what? So confused. He's gonna go face? He's just gonna go face. Okay, that's interesting. Can I make something immune and then Shadow Flame it? Does that work? I'm almost certain it does not work. I'm putting just stuff down. I need to clear everything. So that was the quickest way to clear. And then I can Bog Creeper, Shadow Bolt, and then play lots of random stuff. That's fine. Because my problem is I don't have enough taunt in this deck. And I can't play Flame Imps anymore. Yes. 
So I'm waiting for the Bog Creeper Shadow Bolt turn. Play Flame Imp. Uh, I guess Flame Imp does give me lethal, but I, I also don't see how he wins from here, so... removal and two damage because I have no reach. Atra's veteran? That's fine. Oh, that's pretty desperate. I don't think anything saves him here. GG. Well played. Alright, that was easy enough. We got to 12, we stabilized, we use all of our big giant bombs. 3 0. Okay. I do need to order some food. I don't know what I'm really in the mood for. I'm kind of in the mood for a burger. Let's do it. Whiskey burger. Gul'dan versus Jaina. You asked for it. More souls shall be mine. Pad Thai? Oh god, no. Uh, it's a whiskey burger with fried uh, fried jalapenos. I don't know what it is about jalapenos, but they're so good. I almost want to keep it Senjin, but no, let's go fast. Cool. Flame Imp. Turn one. Maybe just Mortal Coil. He's sad now. Wait, really? It's all the play that he can muster? Let's go! You gonna ping again? That's also not good for him. Um... Drink the power. Cool. Look behind you. Free taps? I don't really need the free taps. I need to keep the tempo up. So this is the highest tempo move. If he pings, he still anti-tempos himself. My Shadow Bolt can take care of any 3-drop he puts out. And next turn I could like Nerubi Immortal Coil or I could Shadow Bolt Hero Power. He needs to ping the 4-1. I'm basically forcing him to play a 3-drop, and he's been, like, really crappy about, like, actually having things to play that are small and meaningful. Cool. But, uh, I have to make the trade now. I hedged. Now I got my free tap. He can clear if he wants. You on the list? Yeah, that's fine. Say hello to my I have the security of two mortal coils. He can keep repeatedly clearing me and I'll still be okay. He can bone marrow me and I'll be okay. So everything's okay. Out of my jungle. Interesting. May my ancestor watch over. Interesting. No! Interesting. Okay. 
keep doing this. See what else he has. He played his other taunt. He played the taunt that he got from this thing. So he's just trying to stay alive. Again, he can flame strike and I still win. So I don't really care about that. He needs double flame strike to really get ahead of me. Meteor positioning? It doesn't matter. He has a 1 4. He could kill the 1 1. So all positionings are the same. Emmy Face is your Adwick death. Thanks for the loads of free entertainment, Emmy. Thanks, man. Three months in a row. Oh, says free pizzas for chat. Adwick does offering. I, I, I will offer you to buy your own pizza and eat. Because pizza is excellent. Alright, so he loses. Well. That was not totally meaningless. I needed to play Warlock cards. See? Needed to play Warlock cards. Really, Chang says, is that gonna go? Yo, can you throw a pizza party for the subs? Ah. Uh, I don't know how to do that. I'm also really tired. Now's a good time to screw with me. Because I am pretty defenseless. I just had one beer and it like hit me because I like did not have a lot to eat today. And I'm missing sleep. So I'm gonna get some energy from the burger and do some work afterwards. But. Oh man. And Zarcian one says you put one slice of pizza in a box and send it to all the subs. Ooh. That sounds like it requires more physics than I'm capable of. Brand new says, I grin and go, sleepers for the week. I'm weak. I'm incredibly weak when it comes to sleep. I need so much sleep. Okay. Still no pop. The number of times we've gotten flame imp on turn one is so disappointing. Well, yeah, like just so disappointing. Quick gadget exam social light. Yeah, because I want a mortal coil with the fairy dragon. Dance with me. If I fairy dragon, then I have to let, end up with a 2 2 on the board. And I really don't think it's going to put something with one attack on the board. Yes! I mean, you know, the fairy dragon would have been better, but he probably wouldn't have, played, but wouldn't have played it that way. He pings, he coins another 2-drop, I trade, I play the Aaron Reporter, he doesn't play another 2-drop, so I win the game. Now he coins out a 6-drop, or a 5-drop rather, I hit in, I feeding time, wait, what's happening? Oh, this is actually really crappy. This is actually really freaking crappy. Uh, I don't want to play right into his blizzard. Wait, Mirror Entity? It has to be Mirror Entity, right? Or a Frozen Clone. Okay, Mirror Entity or a Frozen Clone. Got it. So Big Time Racketeer is going to be the one that gets played. Coin, Flame Strike, I'll take it. Cool. His secret does nothing. Cool. Secret still does nothing. Ugh. Such a bad corpse taker. 
I guess it's fine. Winter is here. Taragon says, is Flame Strike more common again? I've seen it a few times and it should be quite rare. Yeah, I don't know. I have been seeing it more and more now too. I've been kind of mentally adjusting for it. I need to soul fire. Yeah, so I need to soul fire. Maybe I throw away the Cabalist Tome. No. I wonder. Drink the power. Nice. That's no, fine. I have full health, I just need to keep him at bay. This volcanic potion will help. Flames consume That's annoying. It's actually really insanely annoying. This only works on the simple drink. That was bad. Fine. You are the fine. This volcanic potion will do just fine. Alright, I have an unplayable Void Terror. Okay, my Void Terror just became playable. And a Rockpool Hunter. Do I want to make it grow? Or do I just want to make a trade? I could get a 6-5 if I want to make it grow. Six five sounds good actually. No, sorry, not six five, five six. I love omelets. That's annoying. But still, as long as he doesn't hit my face, I'm pretty doing pretty well. I have one, two, well they don't really count, mortal coils are going to switch, one, two, three, four, five, six, I don't have a lot of cards left, that's fine, I don't have a lot of life left to use those cards. I sense your struggle. Yes, it's fine. I'm pretty okay with that. Mortal coil, that's pretty good. Another mortal coil, that's pretty good too. A hero power would probably work because I'm death speakering that. Or maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm just playing a bone drake. Either way, I do want a hero power once. Okay, one, two, three, four. No more hero powers. Set up the lethal. You win. Nice. And the real sniper girl says, you trade way too much, dude. When you're up, you just want to win the game. You don't need to push it. When you're getting desperate, then you need to push it. Then you go face. The number one mistake people make is getting too greedy and pushing face. Gul'dan! 
versus my end. All right, we are now facing a rogue at 5-0. We will lose. This deck does not really belong here. Uh, we don't really want a giant wasp. We don't really have three drops, so we are going to take a giant wasp. The sun has set for me. Please, can we get one of our yes? That's two. Give me something to shadow bolt. Give me something to shadow bolt. That's not something to shadow bolt. Guess I full trade. That's super annoying. I can't believe I'm full trading this. I'm not gonna full trade this. None see the lotus. That's fine. <laughs> Here we'll get the Nerubian Prophet out for free and find a swing turn. Snake Pliskin says, "Nice positioning, at Grinning Goat. Thanks." Oh, that's so sad. Three, three, three. Hero power, Nerubian Prophet. I wonder. This only works on the simple-minded. Hero power again. Keep getting on the board, keep getting more cards. Grinding him out. I don't have like enough big things to be like that afraid of rogues. Cause like, what are my big things? I have like one bog creeper, and then like, what? The Anexia. Cool. It's good to see you again. Don't drink hero power. Shadow bolt. No. No. Lenthesis, two months in a row, says my screen is kind of a double entendre. Can you read it two different ways? I didn't notice this until a month ago. Is it weird, Advicta? I I don't know what what it what it would be. It's Lenthesis. That's all I got. Brothers, heed my call. Okay. Oh no. I'm gonna play right into him. <laughs> Thank you for the host, Kanra. Thank you so much, man. Uh what do you do? He killed me, which is okay. I'm not gonna kill the bone drain. I'm gonna do that and then play a bone drain. There. Now I have very normal things. 
Okay. That's fine. He can survive this. I just need to be able to, like, anexia correctly. Good. Zubat doesn't hit. Cool. Perfect. I'll take it. Oh. Whoa. Okay. What have you got? It's time for a lot of blood. Is he still trading? He's still trading. He doesn't know what I can do. Alright, well now it's the next year time. He can deal 7 damage, I can... No, I gotta kill that. Alright, let's see if this works. I haven't won yet. It's kind of annoying how up I am card-wise and how I'm actually, like, I have not won. Okay, good. He concedes. Because I can't just go phase, because then he gets value from his 3-5 onto my 1-1s. So, no. Alright. We are facing another Warlock. We are going first. Get faster. Yes. All right. Now two drop after this. Two drop. Come on. Two drop after this, and then three drop. We need to top deck our way to victory, or we're a little screwed. If he passes here, it's kind of okay. He does not pass. What you want? Okay, we're dead. It would be too suspicious if we didn't kill it. He hero powers. That's pretty good. So he slows down too. So we both hero power on turn two. He used the coin. This is good. We could Death Speaker to win here, but let's not. We could Darren Reporter. Well, it's actually Cho and Yeti. Yeti on curve is the best, right? Yeah, nothing beats Yeti on curve. Look behind you. He hero powers again. Jesus, does he have a Drake? Death Speaker, Hero Power. We're gonna get Darian Reporter, Soul Fire, and go. Oh, wait, never mind. I have a feeding time. Should have played Reporter. Yeah, what's the problem with Reporter if you had Death Speaker? Because if he removes it with something that deals 4 damage, which Warlock has a lot of, then I have nothing on the board. But yet he's a much safer play. Now I'm locked out of Reporter, because he needs the Dragonfire Potion, or he kind of loses. Um... I sense your strength. I'll give him something to Dragonfire Potion. Come on. Play your Dragonfire Potion, you get a 3 for 1. It's a pretty good deal. Only a the Lich King. Oh. That's totally okay. Gadgets and Gazette always get the scoop. Felfar doesn't do much if we could just annex you afterwards. Like, I'm okay playing into the Felfire Potion. Yep, go for it. See that Soul Fire? That's the Soul Fire that I wanted to avoid by playing the uh, Reporter earlier. You know, it was a pretty big difference to keep that Yeti on the board for a while hitting him. Like, I think that was the right move. Attacking with the wasp? Yeah, we just need damage on its face. If he like removes the wasp, it doesn't really do much. Ugh. I 
could get him down to two damage left with the Shadow Bolt and the Soul Fire. But I'm really afraid of what this Soul Fire is going to remove. I have to, though. I Good. Perfect Anexia? I'd rather put him down at 2 health. He can't hero power. If he somehow manages to remove everything, I can still Anexia. It's fine. If I didn't have the Anexia, I'd still be able to play like two other things. I just, I needed that face damage. He's down at 2. It's a pretty big deal to have him not be able to hero power at all. Alright, so he's technically not dead. Except, you know, he's dead, but he doesn't know that. Alright, 7-0! Last time we did this, we stopped at a 5-0 warrior. We're gonna stop at a 7-0 warlock now. I really want to eat my food. Are we gonna stop? And the other ones aren't really drops. Uldan versus Anduin. It's also a middling deck in terms of power level, just in general, but uh, it's been working out. Like, this is good. The two Violet Illusionists are really doing some work. And uh, of course we have two Bone Drakes and a Cabal Chemist who have also, that have also been doing work. Yes! Hashtag good at this game. I'm warning you. I'm unstable. That did not seem necessary. Okay, this is something I can Shadow Bolt. I just need to hope that... Why would you coin out a Power Word Shield? You do it when you're desperate. Like, when you don't have anything, right? You just need to draw a card so you can keep, like, top-decking your answer at some point. Yeah, this is, like, super desperate of them. Which is good for us. I don't want to give him a target to buff. And this deck has, like, pretty much zero reach, so... Man. Just... It's very desperate. Freed says, Zach, and Goat. Hey, Adwick, the nice to see you. Love your stream. Thanks, man. Drink the power. Oh, Blast Crystal. Yeah, that wouldn't have changed how I played it. Alright, Blast Crystal's good, though. This is our way to get rid of his really big stuff. Fudo says, Adwicta is more human than Murps. Murps is too accepting and friendly. Yeah, that's right. Screw Murps and his friendliness. All about, all about assholeness over here. I can double trade. I think I kind of have to double trade. I'm not going to Blast Crystal that. I wonder. All right. Since I have to double trade, Bone Drake seems fine. Skeptical Reptile says, I like how Reddit always gets butt hurt whenever Adwicta makes a post that's too aggressive and mean. Oh wow, he's hurting himself a lot. He's hurting us a lot too, though. I do wish Reddit would get less butt hurt, though. Like, it's Reddit. Reddit should not be butt hurt. Like, I don't know who all these people playing, uh, who all these Redditors playing Hearthstone are. But they are, they are some nice, nice folks. Novo F says, hey Adwick Doug, greetings from Germany. What's up? 
Greetings from New York. Oh, this is where Blast Crystal Potion is going to come in and do something. Ugh. So on one hand, I can't leave that on the board. On the other hand, I don't have lethal. I have soul fire for lethal. That's it. Nope. I don't need to play the corpse taker even. I'm comfortable with what I have. Oh, that's nice. Crusader Press says, Adukta, you live in which country? U.S. New York City. In the part of New York City called Long Island City, which is my favorite part of New York City. Uh, if you uh, live in New York and you haven't visited Long Island City, do yourself a favor and visit Long Island City. It's beautiful. There's stuff to do. You should even consider moving here. Just the best neighborhood. Although it's kind of expensive now. Like, it used to be cheap when I first moved here. I have a quest that requires me to use more hero powers. And I think one that requires me to use more warlock cards. Although I might have finished that one. I need to be up to date on my quest thing. Yeah, see? There's one for hero powers. What's the other one? Much like armpits, there are high-rises in Long Island City, despite the fact that you may wonder why there would be high-rises in that area of the body. And it's also kind of wet sometimes. So I can see it. It's kind of like the armpit. It also does kind of smell. I'm not gonna lie. It's not the nicest smelling part of New York. But it's New York. Nothing really smells good in New York. GS Now! Thanks for subbing 11 months in a row. So hype. Job's done. Alright, we specialize in taking down paladins. Watch. Watch this. Watch this specialization in taking down paladins. Could flame imp immortal coil, but we don't need to. Because I trust the power. A wise fool says, that out of go places do you recommend going in OIC? OIC Flea on the weekends is really popular. Uh, we have Moo Ramen, which is a great ramen place, uh, also. And generally, the waterfront's really beautiful. This kind of sucks, but I don't really have much of a choice. I, eh, I can just do Mortal Coil with the Flame Imp. Yeah. And then I get that speaker with another mortal coil. It's fine. Yep. That speaker with another mortal coil. Looking pretty good. Set it all up. Perfect. This boy terror is insanely good. I love boy terroring two fours. You create a five seven. Solid Plitzkin! Thanks for subbing, Twitch Prime! Alright. This is kind of annoying. I actually need to double trade into it. Ah. And I can't play Gurubashi because I fall too far behind. It's either a Daring Reporter, or I think I have to Gadgetzam my face in Boy Terror. I don't really have a choice though. And of course I'd rather have a 5-5 five five in this situation than a 3-3 three three with a 2-2. Two two. So, we'll burn an extra card and have a 5-mana five 5-5. Five five. He's unlikely to be able to deal with this. Okay, never mind. He is able to deal with this. Reporting for duty. No, he's not able to deal with this. What a top deck. Ted 24th Sin! Thanks for subbing. Welcome to the Grin and Goat, dude. 
Kadeus13 says, quick question if you don't mind, is there a different mindset you have when you play at high wins? I have averaged 6.5 for my last 40-ish runs, but only with 1 or 2 12 wins. Not sure what I'm doing wrong, was hoping to push for leaderboards. Uh, there is kind of a different mindset in high wins. I respect my opponents more, and I expect them to have crazier stuff. So, I play like a bit more conservatively than I normally would. Not that it matters with something like Paladin, where you should just be like clearing anyway, but... You'll see me when I get to high wins, like, over clear a lot more than I normally would. It also means Warlocks are probably easier to, like, it's, Warlocks have always been the easiest class to take a mediocre deck to 12 wins with. Because your job is always to clear your opponent, because you need to protect your own face. So, once it gets to, like, 8 or 9 wins, it's much less likely to hit the wall than a Paladin or, like, a, a Mage or a Rogue. So, like, there's nothing special about this deck. Like, you guys see, it's not terribly great. It has, like, medium value. And uh, it's pretty convincingly, like, destroying our opponents. Gadgets and Gazette always gets the scoop. <laughs> Should have beat raid. Hmm. These two are going in, or this? These two are going in. We'll make these two going because that one grows. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna hero power every turn now. Okay, we're hitting his face. Cleon Admiral says frames? Nope, not dropping any frames over here. If you're dropping them, it's all you. Reporting for duty. That is a steed. That's fine by me. Hit it for four, hit it for three, kill it off. I want uh oh, I could have soul fire without changing anything. That's fine though. I'm keeping the Anexia for if he clears inevitably. Like, we're just hero powering, we're not in any real danger. Friend Sword, Twitch Prime, thanks for subbing. Alright, we are 9 0. We are also, I, I'm, I'm not just hero powering to do this quest, by the way. I know, I know I really like that quest and I like to hero power with that quest, but that's really how you should be playing this deck. Like hero power when you can, especially if you have a Violet Illusionist out or a lot of health, because um, it gets on the board pretty well. Mortal Coils really help you secure the board with this deck. And if, especially if you roll out with a Flame Imp on turn one or a Mad Bomber that eats something, like very easy to snowball. Okay, we are 9-0. He definitely has infestation. Let's see if we can get uh, a flame imp. Claw, Twitch Prime, thanks for subbing. Welcome to the Grinning Goat. All these subs today. General Kona says subs are 250. Is there like a special deal Twitch is doing? Need a blessing? If so, thank you guys for uh, for uh, buying the sub. It means a lot. And if there is a deal, I kind of I want to know about it because then we could do like an actual sub drive this week or something, and then we can get the emote slots because we're about to have extra emotes that we can't like emote slot. Like we're we're out of emote slots right now, and we're gonna add two new emotes coming up. The deal's been going on all September, and I didn't know? What? The deal's been going on all September? No one told me. Kadeus, thanks for subbing Twitch Prime. Will 
50% off new subs in September. Half price subs all month. Oof. I mean, we got to get on that. We'll do a sub drive then. Because we actually need to. We need to. We're at about 500 subs right now. We need to get to like 700 to accommodate all the uh, mm. uh, all the new emotes that uh, that Alter Slayer and Brand New are pumping out. Almost out of time. I need to tempo. We're gonna be killed by this Crypt Lord. Ash to ash. Okay. He gets rid of that. That's actually really good. By the way, if I were him, I would never have gotten rid of that card. Gotten rid of that card. Because I clearly don't have a mortal coil. And so without a way to actually get rid of it, it's super bad. Gadget Zen doesn't really solve our problems. We just we just gotta keep uh, keep putting the pressure on. There's nothing we can do about it. The four drop for elementals is uh, is Tovir, which I'm not really that afraid of, and I definitely need the one four gun before I can play feeding time. So we're very much behind, and we're just looking to make sure he doesn't. Oh, that's fine. Okay, so we can hit it and then feeding time, and that should be good enough, yeah, to kill the Igneous. So he didn't swipe last turn, guessing he doesn't have swipe. He'll just trade his 5-5 five, five and play a 5-drop. He's still ahead, but... Oh my god, more Crypt Lords. I was like, I need to get rid of the Crypt Lord before I'm able to play this. And then he just has more. That is so annoying. He only needs to play two cards, and then he's out of range again. And no matter what card he plays, I can't get to it. Hmm. I haven't gotten any of my uh, board clears yet. Like, in all seriousness, if he plays like a Geist or something, I'm just going to have to tap and try to get the Shadow Blade. Because if I don't, I'm just dead. Orga Porker says, that Alec does. Anyone beaten Crypt Lord? I don't know what that means, but I certainly have problems with it. Oh, no, he has Natural Eyes. Time waits for no one. We are, uh, we're getting problematic here. Soul fire, mortal coil, yeti, and flame imp. <laughs> Just don't have another one. That's all. If he can keep comboing this, he can just win. And that's okay. Otherwise, I need some kind of tempo turn. And I need this Bog Creeper to actually do work. He's making space for ultimate infestation. That's fine. I'm not going to lose to him on card advantage. I don't mind ultimate infestation. Ultimate infestation doesn't get him tempo. Little afraid of that. afraid of that. Oh, okay. Flame Imps are not playable. 4, 2, Soul Fire. Do I Flame Imp? It gets to 8. He has 3. No, I can't Flame Imp. I wonder. I mean, I need to Flame Imp, actually, but... Okay. 
So I actually need to Flame Imp because I need the tempo. Unfortunately, what I'm afraid of is being hit to the face. So I'm in a bad situation. I think I lose next turn no matter what he does here. Like, I actually need to top deck Shadow Flame. The jungle provides. Definitely need to top deck Shadow Flame. Alright. So it's Shadow Flame or Bust. Not a Shadow Flame. Well. Okay. If I don't Hero Power. He needs two. I have otherwise only one taunt in this deck. Otherwise he just kill me in two turns. No, I have to hero power. This is still Shadow Flame Robust. Even if I don't die now, I can't prevent him from going face, so. Still Shadow Flame Robust. Come on, Bomber! No. Not quite. Yeah. Alright, 9-1. We died to the double Crypt Lords. What are you gonna do? If you're wondering how we lost, we lost to the Naturalize. Naturalizing the Bone Drake made him win the game because it let him turn on the aggression. It was one mana for six mana. And we didn't have like, I mean we didn't have enough mana to play it too, but we didn't have like a Twisting Nether or anything like that. Well, this is awful. We need cards. Worst comes to worst, I have a three card deal three damage draw a card. So two cards to deal three damage. With my mortal coils this next turn. I love oh! oh! <laughs> Someone highlight this! Holy crap! Extraordinary. <laughs> Holy crap! That just happened! I know people think like big giant clears or whatever are highlights, but that was ridiculous. The unlikelihood of having that set up. Duke B, the WBG, thanks for subbing. Twitch Prime, welcome to the Grinning Goat. Um, I will summon that. I think. Maybe I won't. No, I'll summon it. I'll summon it and then I'll play the wasp. Yes. Has this really necessary? Oh my god, says I don't think he's sniping at Adwicta. Oh, definitely not sniping. You ever wanna not be mistaken for a sniper? Just uh just make a move that absolutely destroys you. Easy proof. Alright, so we can trade. And then... Doubling up is fine. It's better than just a Gurubashi. Although, turn 6, Gurubashi, I can soul fire after. Alright, alright. No mercy, no mercy. Let's get 7 damage out there right now, not the 6 damage, which is Gurubashi plus Soul Fire. Oh, good. Thank god we didn't play Gurubashi. 
Uh, we're going to use this. And we'll use that as well. We can hero power to draw a card and instead of three left. That doesn't work. So we have to Gurubashi here. It's kind of sad. Mm. I don't really have a good way about it. Look behind you. No! It's the one card you can't discard. Because we need that for our initiative. Now we can't remove what he actually puts out. So we have to play the Bot Creeper no matter what he does. And so if he just plays one big card, we're like pretty screwed. Oh, that's good. Okay, no more hero powers after this. Yes, potion of polymorph that. This is just a 4 mana 3-3. Three, because three. I don't have any more taunt minions in my deck. I'm going to try to Bog Creeper next, actually. This will be fine. Brothers, heed my call. It's fine. He knows I have to trade. Unless I don't trade. Throw him for a loop. Show him he doesn't know me. Eight. Ba Creeper. We can Anexia next if he full clears. I'm okay with this. Anexia. Fine. Because he basically traded for us. We would have had to give the same trade, so we just got some face damage. Now we actually Anexia. We set up lethal. Let's see if he has anything. Things a 1 1. Not MCT Anexia. Does he have a taunt? Okay. Freeze Anexia? Doesn't freeze Anexia. Wow. He had a couple shots at not dying, including taking my Anexia and winning the game. 10 1. So Mortal Coil definitely won us that game. MVP. Gul'dan versus Gul'dan. Your soul shall be mine. We're going first. We have a flame imp. Nice. Very nice. David Amberl says, At Grin and Go, what's your favorite insult that isn't used often enough? I don't know. I don't think I have a favorite insult. Because insults need to be like actually on point, which means they have to address the specific issue that's at hand to be an effective insult, I think. And so it's all situational. Also, he's gonna mortal coil me now and I'm not gonna be able to do anything on turn three. And I'm gonna lose the game because I hero powered on turn two. And we both had one drops. Just calling it. Now he's not gonna play anything. Please coin out a two drop. Or I need to top deck a three drop. Oh, that works. Dance with me. Okay. That's annoying for no reason. I will Cabal Chemist. Drink the power. He gives me a Blast Crystal Potion. I'm okay with that. Feeding time next if he goes small again. Like, I know he doesn't have a lot of small things. He's gonna have to give me, like, a 3 or 4 drop at some point. But I'm hoping he, like, tries to, like, be greedy again. And then I can Feeding Time. Oh, never mind. That's really good for him. 
Three health. Nice. Ah, come on. It's annoying. Drake is Crips is that uh, head auto Do you still think tierless is as the bot show? You don't rate lock higher. Um, so within tiers, we don't rate it, and we don't think warlock right now is as good as these other ones. So yeah, I think that's right. We don't really rate it higher. Shadow bolt doesn't really do anything. Shadow flame doesn't do anything either. I will trade. As much as I want to go face, I still don't want him going to my face. <laughs> Say hello to my little okay. Bone Drake into Bone Drake. Hope he plays more stuff and we can Shadow Flame. You can't hide from me. Cool. It's kind of begs for Shadow Flame. Oh, okay. Uh, Deathwing is fine. Gadgets and Gazette always gets the scoop. I'll take Deathwing. So we have a Blast Crystal Potion and a Shadow Bolt and a Feeding Time, which means uh, I don't really need this guy to stick around, so I'm going for Upside by putting him out right now. I will Deathwing to bring Onexia out. Very okay with that result. Shiny. It's annoying. Because it gives him so many coins, but I'll do it. Hmm. Or I could just Blast Crystal. I'll just Blast Crystal. Eh. Blast Crystal gets a Yeti out. No, I should just Blast Crystal. I want answers. I still have seven damage from my hand. And it gives me more time to draw my other bone drake. Or like a fairy dragon. Because I actually have a lot of dragons for this death wing. Glacial Beast says, I don't see the appeal of Anexia. Ah. Uh, I mean. It's something like four fours worth of stats you shouldn't be getting. Like additional stats. Cool. Cool. Not cool. Okay. I'll take that. I can't actually play Anexia. Like, I want to, but I can't. This only works. Because I need to play Deathwing. So sweet. Cool. I hate that card. <laughs> That's my worst card. Unleash me. Oh, crap. That got real annoying real quick. Um... The Let's do that. Let's force him to kill the Deathwing. Unless he has 12 damage from his hand, he has to find a way to kill the Deathwing. And once he kills the Deathwing, I have like an 8-8 eight, eight and a 6-5 on the board. Which is still lethal for him, so... I feel pretty comfortable with this move. Too bad. <laughs> He's like, I hope he has no dragons! I'm like, nope. Sorry, dude. I got dragons. 
I have nothing that can help a dragon, but I do have plenty of dragons in this deck. Um, Bone Drake, I think, will get the golden card treatment. Mortal Coil is still the MVP for this run, if you've been watching. Uh, Flamenth, actually, and, uh, and Violet Illusionist have been close as well. But I think Bone Drake will, will get the golden card. Only because Mortal Coil Order already have two gold. Alright, good. It's a good start. Let's try to get a two. Okay, two more two more draws. Two more draws for that two. One more draw. One more draw for a two drop. Come on, big money, big money. Erasmus, 25 months in a row, says time for some got 12. Good luck. Thanks, man. Hoping. This is not the best start, but it's okay. Drink with me, friend. Like, it could be worse. Yes. Yes. Oh, this boy terror is so good right now. He thinks he's got me. He's like, oh, now I get him. But he don't got me. Coin for that too. Let's hope he doesn't have a shadow or death. Because I don't really have a follow up to this. I, I guess I have a 4 4, it's not that bad. I see what his plan was. So he gets the flappy, and you know, it all works. That's... Then he's gonna trade back. He's gonna play a 4 drop. I hope he doesn't have a 4 drop. I'm kind of screwed if he has almost any 4 drop. What Maybe like a 3 5 would be okay. Embrace the void. All right. Maybe not that particular 3 5. Like, this is fine, but nothing good is really going to happen. We're going to hit in and feeding time to deal one damage. Because I can't have that thing staying on the board. Uh, do I risk it with the Gurubashi? If I Gurubashi, I just go face. Technically, he needs the hero power. No, no. Not gonna be fancy. He needs a board clear. The board clear is gonna take the whole turn, unless it's a potion. Fine, he has a potion. Ugh. That's fine. Not the worst. Wasp is a little desperate. Gadgets and Gazette always gets the scoop. Eleven win ordering? Yeah, that was his mistake. He got really excited though. I mean I would get really excited too. If I can use a one mana card to clear a four one and a one one. Is he thinking whether to heal it? Oh, please heal what it. Please heal this guy. Just a pinch of it. Wait, what? I'm scared. I'm not gonna death speaker this. I'm too scared. He's gonna have a board clear. There's no other reason for this. Shadow or Death, fine. I knew he didn't have the Shadow or Death in the beginning because we tested for it with our uh, with our Void Terror. So he top decked it in his last three cards, fine. We can now use our Death Speaker to our Heart's Delight. Death Speaker. I sense your struggle. I want answers. Oh, it's I want to set up this mad bomber. So I have a mortal coil and a mad bomber for this Gurubashi. Cabal incoming. Well, you got to play the Gurubashi at some point. So. That's cool. I'm 
Unfortunately, this daring reporter does need to die. Almost impossible for these two to actually take that down. Well, yeah. I mean, it needs to die anyway. Because even if it triggers this correctly, like, I need to kill that. Hmm, okay. I see what you guys are saying. I'll give it a shot. Oh, wow. Okay. Thank you, chat. That was a chat play, by the way. They're like, you can taunt it. I'm like, okay, that makes sense. I'll go for it. This play brought to you by Twitch chat. And that's also why I put this guy down. Because if he healed it, I would just make that trade and I don't care too much. Cool, cool. Drink the power. That's setting up the lethal. Even if he heals, it's lethal if he just plays one minion. That doesn't do anything. That does. Orange Crush that's just got here in time to see the 12 wins. Nice. Oh, super nice. I will discard something. I guess I didn't need to discard anything. That was a misplay. No, I would have only drawn one regardless. Like, if I did it the way I wanted to do it, I wouldn't have drawn anything. So it's still worth it. Okay, he needs to use the, uh, the potion now. So that has to be a 5 mana potion. Let's see if he's got it. The 5 mana potion doesn't really do all that much. So he needs to, like, heal himself. Never mind. It does a lot. Not enough, but you know. It was pretty good. Alright, 12 wins. 12 win warlock. Lots of dragons. Got some demons. Um, that void terror was game saving, by the way. After we missed our two drop. And then he went in on his power word shield on his minion to create a bad matchup for us. And we used the Void Terror to create a minion that then eats his new 3-4. That was a game-winning play. It's all thanks to uh, uh, the Void Terror. Corpse Taker MVP. Alright, this was like literally the only time in this entire run Corpse Taker did anything. And that's like as a um, as a four mana three three with taunt. This is pretty crappy, but that's okay. We got a twelve. One more twelve. Um, we're killing created right now. Hey created. One more twelve. Hi YouTube. 